Hello guys and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today I will demonstrate the XML API in PanOS and explain to you how to do your first API call to run an operational command on your firewall. So before we get our hands dirty, let's review this API thing. API stands for Application Programming Interface and it is an interface between you, the programmer, and the operating system running on the firewall. So PanOS for us. It uses HTTP or HTTPS to transport API request and API response. And finally, each request will be authenticated with a key to avoid security related issues. The key is generated with the following HTTP request and need two arguments, a valid login and a valid password from the firewall. I will demonstrate it shortly. So this is how it works. The API running on the firewall receives API requests from the client and will target the corresponding function in PanOS. In return, the firewall will respond with a result display in XML in the HTTP response. So at this point, being able to read XML is important, but there are many tools to help you in the process. Don't worry. So at the end, this is what an API call for an operational command in PanOS looks like. We already know how to generate the API key and I will show you a quick trick to get the exact syntax for the command in your API request. So let's get our hands dirty. I'm now in my Linux shell and the first thing we need to deal with is the API key. I'm using curl for this with two options, the minus k to avoid SSL errors as I'm using another sign certificate on the firewall and the minus x get to force curl to perform an HTTP get request with the URL we saw earlier. As you can see in the URL, we also have a valid logging and valid password. So this is it. We now have a valid API key and we are ready to go further. I'm now going to show you how to quickly get the correct syntax of operational commands for your API call. And for this, you need to be on the firewall for a bit. I'm using the debug CLI on command for this method. And once this is done, you will see that each time I execute a command, I get the corresponding syntax for the XML API. Let's try this with the show routing route command. And as you can see, the corresponding syntax is displayed right here. Show routing route in XML. Cool. Let's get back to our Linux shell and try it. I am now back in the Linux shell, ready to craft my XML API request with curl. So I'm using the type ops with the command I want to execute in XML. And the last attribute is my API key. And it all worked fine. I was able to extract the running table off my firewall from a Linux box with a simple API request. So technically you could do much more with the same method like getting system information, rules, object, application, and so on. There is also the possibility to do API requests to perform configuration change, but this will be a topic for another video. I hope you enjoyed this one and please share and subscribe if you liked it.